Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you about our home built display for our MPPT solar regulator. We got two solar cells in our boat, a flexible 100 watt panel up front by the mast and a traditional fixed 50 watt panel over the hatch carriage. Uh, the charger's uh, two 95 amp hour batteries and a 75 amp hour starter battery. Uh, to get optimal performance you need a regulator. We chose the EP Tracer 1210RN which is good for around 130 watt DC input and 10 amps of current. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Uh, 10 amps is more than enough. If we ever come close to 10 amps of charging I would gladly go out and buy a new regulator. Uh, this regulator has an optional display that shows information about the current battery and solar voltage and also how many watt the regulator is charging the batteries with. How do you say what's that in English? Anyhow, uh, I thought it would be more fun building one of my own and also get the possibility of adding more features in the future such as controlling the lights in the boat and uh, whatnot. Uh, as you can see in the picture, our uh, 100 watt panel is partially shaded, and that is something solar cells don't like at all. Uh, the difference between a shaded and not could be as much as 70 to 80 watts with our 100 watt panel, in my experience. Uh, the plan is uh, to move it until next summer and place it on top of a dodger or spray hood. It's still not ideal since the sail and boom might shade it occasionally, but it's still a lot better than where it's placed right now. Uh, the best place would be to put it on a targa bar or stern rail, but I really don't like the aesthetics of having a targa bar or filling the stern rail with solar panels, unless you're sailing around the world. Um, perhaps it's just a matter of time before I crave the solar juice so bad that I mount them everywhere around about, but uh, who knows. Uh, anyway, uh, the price of building a display is about the same uh, as buying the original, but since I had the parts lying around at home, I thought it would be better off just building one myself. Uh, I believe the total cost amounts to 30 or $40, and I can't really say that I like the look of the original display beige plastic from the 70s. Hmm. Uh, since I don't need to cycle through settings and so forth uh, from the display, my two rows of 16 characters is definitely enough and the blue tint from the Arduino display looks much nicer in my opinion. Uh, the product consists of three parts beside the regulator. Uh, the first one is the Arduino Uno, um, one uh, 16 by 2 LCD display and also an Ethernet cable. All you would need besides that is a bit of solder and a soldering iron and of course a computer to program the, the Arduino. Uh, what you really need to do is uh, plug in the Ethernet cable in the regulator, uh, cut the connector at the end of the cable and solder on pins to connect them to the right pinouts on the Arduino. Uh, then solder the display to Arduino, load the code and you're off. Uh, well, it's not quite that simple, but if you have experience in coding, it's super easy. The code for interpreting the output from the regulator and turn them into usable variables is uh, supplied in the sample code. Uh, you'll find it in the description as well. Uh, you'll have to have uh, you have to display the variables of your liking, either on an LCD display like I did, or simply using LEDs to show off the status. If you choose to use an LCD, you'll need to add the appropriate LCD library into your Arduino code and write the, the variables to the display. From there you can do pretty much anything. Uh, perhaps install relays to cut the power to something, or if the voltage drops too low, or perhaps send you a text message to your phone. Uh, regarding the build, I guess the hardest part uh, was soldering all the pins on the display and figuring out the pinout on the regula regulator uh, to the Arduino Uno. Besides that, everything went super smooth. You can find a link to Arduino code in the description down below. Uh, early on, I um, thought that adding LEDs showing red, orange and green depending on battery slash solar status. But I skipped it when uh, I installed it in the boat since it's quite easy just looking at the display. Uh, here you see me testing it out by sending fixed variables and uh, the LEDs respond accordingly. Uh, if the house bank voltage drops below a certain point, the display changes to display a warning text and uh, current voltage. I'm, I might install a buzzer later on that also gives out an audible warning. 
Uh, the display shows uh, from the top left uh, bank uh, battery voltage. To the right, uh, better level in uh, percent, uh, as you will see a bit later. Uh, down left uh, is the solar voltage, and at the bottom right it shows uh, current charge in watt. Uh, this could be in amps as well, but I think it's easy to relate uh, to all the power drains on board, which is specified in watts. Um, I'm actually surprised how well it works as a battery monitor. It does a much better job than the old voltage meters. Uh, perhaps it's because the regulator is much closer to the bank or that uh, old um, voltage meter is just so old. I guess it came with the boat, which is uh, nearly 30 years old by now. Uh, and uh, here's the end result. Uh, I apologize for the picture quality, but it's really easy to read the display from quite a distance. Um, well, I guess this is all for this time. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Take care, guys.